Hello, welcome to Literary Life. Today I'm going to do a book review on a book I finished this week uh, by Benjamin Wood called The Ecliptic. This is a book I received in my Thrill Seeker box from Bookcase Club. Um, it was a really good read. It was a story about um, a group of artists that um, go to an artist's retreat on a Turkish island. And the main character, I would say, is Elspeth, who goes by the name Nell on the island everyone kind of leaves behind um their original who they are identity and takes on a new one while on the island to kind of protect both to allow them to remain somewhat anonymous but also to allow them to kind of separate from whatever's weighing them down and getting in the way of their artistic um pursuits and so they can kind of free themselves to um create their art and explore um their artistic muse their drive um, and what they're producing. So it's a really interesting concept. But the book itself, I think the beginning of it really focuses on kind of introducing you to the island, to the artist retreat, um, to the group of characters that have been coming there for a while and developed a good friendship while there, um, to the arrival of the 17-year-old boy um, who um, Ellie kind of takes an interest in. Um, but then the book, the middle third of the book kind of jumps back into Ellie's life and how she came to be where she's at now. Um, so it's a big change in gears, but really interesting in sort of exploring, you know, what she's been through and understanding who she is. And then um, the book jumps back into the island and her current state. Um, and it's really, I, I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to do, uh, my reviews have spoilers, but it's not your usual thriller. I would not have expected this to be in a thriller box, but I'm so glad it was. Um, actually, as I'm reading it, I looked up the genre because it was a bit confused because it just felt different than what I was expecting given it, the fact that it came in a thriller box. And it's technically it falls under the psychological fiction um, or just fiction uh, genre. But knowing that, I'm, I'm I, I, that helped me kind of frame my expectations as I read the story and enjoy it. Um, but there is some really good um, twists in the book, and um, I'm definitely glad that they sent it, even though it wasn't your run-of-the-mill thriller type book. So um, I really struggled on Goodreads if I wanted to give this one four or five stars. Um, I, if I could have, I would have done four and a half. I ended up going with four. Um, I still kind of reconsider that even after. I mean, that's how good it was, but it wasn't just like, you know, where I was like, easy, five stars. It, I, I, I kind of struggled. But anyway, regardless... Um, still a very good read, um, but definitely don't go into it expecting sort of a high-paced um, psychological thriller and tent edge of your seat the whole time. But it's a really interesting look at sort of what does it mean to truly be an artist? Um, where does their um, motivation and their sense of their artwork come from? And understanding this main character's life and how she got to be where she is. And then um, with a little bit of a psychological thriller element, um, kind of thrown into it as well. Um, so definitely a good read. Thank you, uh, Bookcase Club, for sending. And um, if you choose to pick it up, let me know what you think. If you've already read it, let me know what you think. Um, but happy reading. Thank you.